Ladies, 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 you priceless, precious gems. How y'all feeling today? This is Khadija sitting out. Wanted to share some really good information with you all today. So, life, us ladies in general, we go through some stuff, right? We get knocked down, we get back up, but we keep on persevering, okay? If you've gone through some stuff that's been hard in your life, and you feel like you don't have any more fight left in you, you got to dig a little bit deeper and realize you have so much more in you than you have ever even tapped into yet, okay? So keep that here. Open up your third eye. Keep that like a bullseye, first f- forefront right there. You're strong. You're powerful. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're capable. You're able, okay? So with that being in mind, Let's get up, roll up our sleeves, and keep it moving. Let's stop waiting on Captain Sava. You know what? We have to take more common sense approaches to life and to dating in general. I'm going to throw out an example. A woman could say, I want a man that makes six figures or more. But that woman, her greatest ambitions in life is to work at Taco Bell. What has she done as her greatest achievement? She has not aspired for her own personal self to raise above the example working at Taco Bell. So if you want a man who has means and is of a certain caliber, he's prestigious, he's making a certain amount financially, whatever you want in your counterpart, you have to be that, you have to embody that first. A man who has those attributes that you want to have as, you know, your mate and your partner, he's not aspiring to come save you and scoop you up from your, I'm only going to work at Taco Bell mentality. If you're sitting basically in your space, your comfort zone, where you're like, my greatest achievement, I'm not going to aspire to attain higher than just getting by, you know, because it's going to be some man who's going to think I'm so fine or think I'm so fly and he's going to come rescue me from having to work at Taco Bell. So I'm not going to have to, you know, actually push myself further. I'm not going to have to have drive and I'm not going to have to have ambitions in life. (sighs) That fairy tale, that's, that's not out there. This day, this age, a man out there who's actually earned his position financially, where he's making $100,000 or more, In his life, he's not going to come and say, hey, I got you. I'm going to just, you know, you just so fine. (sighs) There could be an exception, a sprinkle here, a sprinkle there. Okay. But overall, in general, if you want to have a certain lifestyle, if you want to have, like I said, that certain caliber, you have to go within first and you have to start to do the work first. If you have never taken the time, and we all have issues, so I'm not pointing fingers at nobody. If you have not taken the time to go inward and look within self and put a mirror in front of your face and say, the type of issues that I have, you know, I have anger management. I have low self-esteem. I am only confident when someone else validates me. You know, I don't think I'm beautiful until I've been told by 10 different people. Or I have 100 likes on Facebook or Instagram. If you don't go inward and take the time to do the work yourself, nobody is going to come save you from that. 
Nobody's going to come build up your self-esteem, build up your self-confidence, build up your self-worth. Nobody is going to give you that additional home training that a lot of us did not have. Nobody's going to come and do it for you. You have to do the work yourself. There's no exceptions to that. Okay? So always be about your goals. Always be about setting them. Always be about attaining them, especially on the money front. If you're like, okay, I'm a woman. I want this high class value man who got himself together on all fronts. You have to be together on all fronts. He can come in later and help to build you to a higher platform, a higher plateau. But he's not going to take you off that, that baseline. You have to do the work yourself. Waiting on Captain Saber, you know what? That's not realistic. So don't set yourself up. You have to say, this is my life. This is my body. You have to have ambitions for your own self that are just greater than anybody else can have for yourself. Nobody else could love you until you can love yourself first. Nobody else could be your the type of support system mentally um, and emotionally before you do it for yourself first. You have to go within. You have to address those issues. The issues could be teensy-weensy. The issues can be monumental. Wherever you sit from that perspective, you have to say, you know what? I'm not just going to skate by in life. I'm not just going to accept me being average. I'm going to raise the bar higher and just the fact of you loving yourself so much, that's going to attract that caliber, that, that, that spirit, you know, and your partner who you're wanting to have. It's going to make everybody around you fall in love with you because the, the essence, the luminous, the glow that you're going to have it's going to be something that a lot of other women can't touch. The media puts on women, especially black women, we're supposed to look like these baby doll, clown, factory, made up, prototype women. A man is not attracted to that he'll play with you he'll use you you know he'll have a good time with that plastic baby doll but to be real grow a life be a partner be a friend he's looking at you for your natural beauty a lot more men are being more verbal and articulating that they rather have natural hair natural nails you know, a woman who is more of herself. Because if you go and get all that work done, you gluing all this mop head stuff to your scalp. You have more eyelashes or hair glued to your eyelashes than you have on your actual head. He looking at you like you a clown and that you don't love yourself. When you do all that, just super extra, you look Nothing like the natural goddess and queen that you are. You're emanating to the world and to yourself that you hate yourself and that you hate the way you look. And no man wants to be with a woman or come save a woman who hates herself. Think about it. Would you want to come and save somebody? Come marry somebody? Come give a, a lavish life to somebody who hates themselves absolutely not you would not you would want to come in and rescue and save 
somebody who is building herself up. She's loving herself. She's learning. She's growing. She's expanding. You know, she's coming into her her goddessness, her femininity on all platforms, all levels. You know, she ain't saving the world, but she's saving herself. She's valuing herself. She's loving herself. So ladies, 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 my message to you always, love yourself, save yourself, stop waiting on Captain, save or you know what, because he's not coming if you don't come for yourself first. Mommies, put yourself first. No one can tell you otherwise, talk you out of it. If they try to, scurn on the other way. Scoop, be gone. Go go, go the opposite direction because they're not steering you right. A real man will understand that a real woman who values herself, she will always put herself first. She will always put herself first. She will take care of herself She will do that so that she can take care of her family, for her health, for her relationship, for her children. So just remember, it's it's no saviors. The only person that's going to come save you, in addition, you know, to your your most high or your Jesus or, you know, your spiritual um, most high, is yourself. Okay? And even, you know, the most high... And this is my opinion, it's not going to come save you just because you exist. If you can't show even the most high, your God, your Jesus, your Yahweh, your Yahshua, whoever, if you can't even show your highest spiritual advisor that or savior that you are not willing to do the work for yourself first, then it's like, why do you feel entitled to just have and everything just just laid out for you? Loving yourself means you love the Most High. It means you love Jesus. It means you love your God. You have to have that self-love. And when you have that self-love, that is the first step to saving yourself. Government not going to come save you. FEMA not going to come save you. You know, uh, the church prayer prayer group down the road not going to save you. That millionaire who you've been trying to get at, he not going to come save you if you're not willing to save yourself first. So save yourself. Save your soul. Make good decisions in life. Be a good person. Be a good human being. This day and this age is put on us to not even be good human beings. We can't be there for each other. We can't respect one another. We forgot how to even be good human beings. If you don't know how to be a good human being, go find a book. Go search it in YouTube. I'm sure there's a dozen or more videos that will teach you. Go find a mentor. Go find an advisor. Go find a life coach. But the point is, do the work. Okay? Love yourselves. I love you. This is Khadijah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's just be better people. All right, y'all. Have a good one.